This is one of those segments you're going to have to pardon me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let Joyt go off because Terry and I, and this is the first of many. And, yeah. and let me say again, it's an exercise in futility because there's a lot that we don't know about a lot of these teams. But, Joyt, your win total for the Detroit Lions in 2021. Pardon me if I don't sit back and take this all in. All right, so let's start with the 49ers. So we're going to start with the 49ers, but... Uh, am I going up there? No, you can sit right there. I'm playing right, the highlights of the 49ers. All right, so ask. the 49ers, we don't have a shot. <laughs> we, we don't have a shot. 15 uh, count. So we're 0-1. Yeah. So, so right now we're 0-1. Because um, right now, I mean, they have the top five defense uh, um, allowed in the game last year. Um, their offense is going to be playing at a high level. Um, they have um, Raheem Mostar at running back, who uh, was actually a former teammate of mine who I really love. Um, and right now, one of our weak points right now is our defense. And so until they show me that they can stop the run game, uh, we won't have a shot at being the 49ers. Um, the number two, we'll go to the Packers. The Packers have been the leader of this division since I played. Um, you, whenever you're going up against Aaron Rodgers, um, we have Adams at right receiver. Um, whenever he's on the field, it's a different team. He is the Green Bay Packers. Um, as long as Aaron Rodgers is out there on the field, um, they always have an opportunity to win. Uh, he makes all the players around him better. Uh, he's a true leader on and off the field. Uh, whenever he's on the field, it just gives the team more confidence. All right, so 0-2. We're 0-2. Now let's go to the Ravens, who has the number one rushing offense in all of the NFL. Uh, I don't know how you stop a guy who can beat you with his legs. He can beat you with your arms. He can beat you off the play action. Uh, he opens up the field. Do you drop a guy back in coverage? Do you bring a guy back? Uh, do you bring a guy back and um, uh, put him in a box? Um, this team is, is playing well on special teams, on all three phases. Uh, we're 0 3. All right. 0 3. Now with the Bears. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, it's Football okay. Football 101. Yep. In with Chicago. The, now we have Chicago. Right now, uh, Chicago is working on. Uh, I don't. I don't know if Justin Fields is going to be starting this year. Um, honestly, I don't know that yet. But I, I, I have a splitting with the um, Bears. I don't know if it's going to be the first game of the season or if it's going to be during Thanksgiving weekend. I agree. Now, with you. I thought you had Eagles for the first. No, they're going to split with they're the Bears. Split. Gonna I, split. I have them winning in uh, Detroit and losing in Chicago. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to split with them, and that's, the, and that's going to be the tough one. I don't know if we're going to win at home or if we're going to win against them, but so um, we're, we're, I will give, I'm going to give us a win here, though. I'm okay. going to give us a win here, our first win. Fish, where on are we at so far? We have one. We're, we're, one we're, and three. We're one, one and three. three. Wow. One and three. Okay. Uh, right now, the Vikings, um, I don't see a stopping cook. I, I just don't see it. Not with that attitude. I, now I, we're I one and four. It. We're on four. Uh, I don't see it. One and uh, four now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move on to. I the mean, Bengals. I mean, they're, they're number four. In, they're number four in the NFL in total yards, and so you have a, a team that's coming off of um, one of their worst years defensively uh, against a, a, a team that's putting up yards on teams around the NFL. I just don't see us stopping them defensively, and so that's why I have them actually winning both games in the season. Will um, we win against the Bengals, Joy? The Bengals. Look at how fast the Bengals, he's running. You know what it is? Joe Burrow, he's been playing. He was playing at a high level last year. It's just about uh, if his offensive line was going to be able to give him time to be able to dissect our defense. Now, this game can go either way, um, but I have the Bengals winning this game. Fish with the score. One in five. Thank you, sir. I asked Fish, but thank you. Rams. One in five. Joyke. Um, the Rams, the number one, the number one defense in the league with yards allowed. Um, they're number two in the NFL with sacks. They're going. We we're not going to. One and yet. six. Not yet. One, one and six. Six. Okay. Jalen um, the Hurts Eagles. And the Eagles. All right. Uh, now you Halloween. also have the Eagles, who are number three in sacks in the NFL. But do I think? Now, me and Sean talked about talked about this before this segment, right? When we talked about this before the segment, he said he had the Eagles as their first win. Mm -hmm. um, do I agree with that? 
I think this is a game that can go either way. But if I had to put money on this game, I would probably put my money on the Eagles, actually, on this game, Sean. I'll put my money on the Eagles. But I'm going to go with you. I'm going to say I'm gonna say the Lions are going to win. Okay. So where two are we and at? six. Two and six. Two okay. and six. Here comes the streak. Now, <laughs> now you go to the Steelers. Now, the Steelers have – they've been – power and they've been carried by their defense right they've been carried by their defense uh offensively i would say they're probably just as lethal as the lions offensively <laughs> and so this is going to be a defensive game and since their defense is better than our defense i would say the Steelers are going to win <laughs> okay two and seven got? to the two browns seven. let's go to the browns yeah, go to the Browns. Browns, number three rushing defense. I'm a, a number three rushing team in um, all the NFL. Uh, and then you have two of the best wide receivers in the game on the same team on the same roster. I don't know how we cover them both in this game. So, for that simple fact. Two and eight. Um, I don't see us winning that game. Okay. Uh, here go the Bears. Like I said, we're going to split with them. Yeah. Uh, we're going to split with them. So, either we win this. I'm going to say we lose this game. Two and nine. Because we won the first one. Yeah. Okay. You have one and nine. Vikings, we're not spinning with them. He I has think two, we, two I, and I, nine. I think they beat us um, again this this second game, um, the second round. So we're not going to be able to stop Devin Cook. We're, we're just not. And so uh, let's go to the next one, Broncos. Two and ten. I have, the, I have us beating the Broncos. I have us beating the Broncos. And for the simple fact, I'm a, I'm a guy of numbers. I'm a guy of numbers. And one thing that I've learned with statistics is that the team that turned the ball over the most it's more than likely the team that's going to lose. I think it's like a 70% chance of you losing the game when you turn the ball off over more than the other um, than your opponent. And right now, the Broncos were last in the NFL with the turnover ratio. And so that's why I feel that they will beat the Broncos. 3-10. So three and ten. So on three to and the ten. Cardinals. Huh? Cardinals. I don't think we beat. Uh, Cardinals is, is a playoff contender. Shocker. They're a playoff team. Um, three and we're 11. nowhere near being a playoff team right now. We're nowhere near being a playoff team right now, but we can make some noise or make some flashes of what we can be in the future. But for this game, the Cardinals are going to win because they're just a better team right now. It's Falcons, not what do you got, Joey? I have us winning against the Falcons. <gasps> Three and 11, four and 11. I have us winning against the Falcons uh, for the simple fact. I just don't like the Falcons. Or maybe it's because a lion beats a Falcon in a real fight. Four and eleven. <laughs> All right. See. Well, you know, and then, but you know, at the same time, at the same time, the Falcons do have the number five passing um, offense on the NFL, and so we have to figure out a way to stop them. And they just lost their best wide receiver, Julio Jones, and so you don't have Julio Jones anymore. Uh, and so, when I played, that was the only duo in the NFL that had more connection and more yards than Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson. Now you don't have that. You don't have that component anymore. And so how do you, how do you compensate for that? Mm -hmm. And so I have us winning. I have us winning against the Falcons. The Seahawks against Russell Westbrook. Uh, not Russell Westbrook. <laughs> I'm tripping. Russell, uh, Russell Wilson. Um, no. <laughs> Four and we're 12. Not. We're not. And then their defense is just way more stout than ours as well. Now, at the same time, they're, they're nowhere close to being a legion of doom. The legion of boom. I'm sorry. But... Their offense is better than our defense, and their defense is better than our offense. So, overall, they're going to win the game. And then you have the Packers, which we're not going to beat the Packers. We're, ding, we're not beating ding, the Packers. Ding. Now, Arthur. Now, I don't know. Is that, is that a home game or is that a way? That's a home game. That's a home game. Last now, game is home. Now, at the same time, guys, if we sit here and we go through this roster right here right now, we're basing this off what we see right now. That's we don't exactly know injuries it. can play a major you got it. component. So, if the Seahawks – lose Russell Wilson in, in, in week 10 um, and he's out for the rest of the year. That can be a totally different game. And also with the Packers, if you lose Aaron Rodgers, that can be a totally different game. Right now, the Vikings losing their quarterback or the Bears losing their quarterback right now, I don't think that's going to play a major part um, in their success against the Lions. 4-13. 4-13 is the total? Yeah. Yes, it is. Thanks, now, Fish. So that's 4-13. You welcome, sir, it's a total, the great. I think I say they might win five games, and a game that they might be able to sneak out, 
They might be able to sneak out. I'm not. It might be the Browns. They might be able to sneak one out. I don't know. It just depends on the Steelers. He's 90 years old, still quarterbacking. You know, Arthur. Do you know why I'm smiling? I don't want the Lions. Because it's coming home. I don't want the Lions to struggle. I, I really don't. I don't want the. I, I I cannot stress that to you enough. I don't want the Lions to struggle. Pure, I know people are going to believe what they want to believe. No, no, they're going to struggle. But I think these are going to be the games. I think that they can probably sneak out if they play their best ball and the other team doesn't come ready to play. This is going to be the games right here. Go ahead, Joey. Browns, Steelers, Browns and Steelers. I, that's I it. I have them beating the Eagles beating and the, the Eagles. I have them beating the Eagles. I don't see them being the Browns, but I think they might be able to sneak one out. I'm gonna it's going cl- to be close to what you think. I'm, I'm going to finish my thought. Let me, let, me, let me share this with you. Okay, do you know why I'm smiling? Because somebody said, you know, oh, Sean's smiling. Sean's loving this. No, but it's not for the reason you think. I pray that this franchise that I believe in a couple years is going to be really good. I, I really do believe that. And I want to get into something that one of our um, – uh, Woodward sports correspondents talked about in regards to that as well. Um, I can't stress this to you enough. I think in a couple of years they're going to be really good. But do you know why I'm smiling? I'm just wondering if all you people that have killed me the last couple days and called me a hater and all that, I just wonder if you're going to fire that towards no, Joyce. Of course Wade. not. Look at the stature difference alone. I, I just, I just, I, I wanted. Are, are the, you? You are know you what guys, it is. You know are what, you guys going to kill him the way that you've killed me? We know what it is, though. Are you going to say he doesn't want the Lions to win? Are you going to say that you're just, he's just a negative, miserable pessimist and all that? I will say, I have not witnessed a single comment shitting on Joy Clay. Of they course on you yesterday. not. You know what it is, though. You know what it is, though, because, because, you even though Sean played. is just as credible as I am. I think when they hear it coming from me, I think they said, well, he played in the game. He kind of knows it. And oh, of course. That's, and that's kind of that's what it is. And I think it's not what you say. I think it's how you say it. Of course. And so I remember I saw a comment saying that, um, and it wasn't, it wasn't shitting on me. It wasn't really shitting on you, Sean, either, or, or Terry. I think what I'm saying is it's not what you guys are saying, but it's how you guys are saying it and making us feel as fans. And I think when I speak to the fans, I'm giving I'm giving them my perspective, but I'm not making them feel like, you know. Dabber says, "Damn, Joyke has the Patricia Lions winning one more than the New Campbell Lions." Mm. Or they could go ten and seven. Huh? Nothing. I'm not even gonna. Well, that's, that's, you know, they might be able to stick one out with the Vikings. I'll, I'll add the Vikings in there because they're a division rival, and when you have a division rival, any, it can, anything can anything can happen. But I have us winning five games. Right, can I do? I'm going to do the shiny happy prediction right now. Is that okay? Can I stand up and and do the shiny happy prediction? Yeah, go ahead. Ten and seven. You got to be loud though. Just point, and I'll say the Lions are at home, so they're going to win that game. I got one and zero. Oh. Yep. At the Packers, it's a Sunday night. We don't even know if Aaron Rodgers. Monday be night. I got the Lions. Uh, the Ravens. They're pretty good. But the Lions are at home. I've got the Lions. Three and oh. Mm-hmm. At the Bears. Come on, it's the Bears. Andy Dalton. Fuck I've the got Bears. The Lions, four and oh. At the Vikings. Okay, I'm a little worried about Dalvin Cook. I got four and oh. The Bengals. Did you see that injury that Joe Burrow Boo. had last year? Lions. At the Rams. Stafford sucks and God's getting revenge. I don't care where they play. Lions. Eagles. It's Halloween. The Lions always play good on Halloween. Lions. At the Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger, 79 years old. Lions at the Browns. Okay, if that game was in Detroit, I would say the Lions. But it's in Cleveland. I'll give them the Browns. Where are we at, Fish? I have two losses. The Bears, they stink. Andy Dalton, it's Thanksgiving. The Lions always win on Thanksgiving. The Vikings, I told you. Delvin Cook, the Lions are going to get their revenge because they're at home. So I have two losses. At the Broncos, they're terrible. The, The Cardinals. All right, I'll take the Cardinals. Uh, the Lions are going to be the Lions are going to be near the Cardinals level, but not that. No, wait a second. That game's in Detroit. I'm taking the Lions at the Falcons. They're bad. They're like the worst franchise ever. At the Seahawks, that's when Dan Campbell makes his announcement to the entire league and says, "We're here and we're not going anywhere." And first, the Packers—they end Aaron Rodgers' career, fifteen and two.